Hi everyone and happy Wednesday. Uh, you are here today with Andy Valkyrie Divine. Um, it is officially the first day of the seven day challenge that I took on from Hibiscus Moon. Um, I will post the link uh, to her blog just down below. So I'm starting here with a small little crystal grid that I had made today um, in order to help me focus on this. So there's just um, a few carnelians just all around and then I have this large uh, crystal clear quartz point um, at the center. I also have over here, let me see where is it, I don't know if you can see it very well, uh, but my little activating wand. Um, I got this from Peru, it's actually a present from a really good friend of mine and I really like it. I haven't used it as a, as a wand yet, so I'm kind of excited to see what it does. Now, um, these are actually the cards that I'm going to be using to do the readings um, for the next seven days. So uh, let me just put this aside. So they're called the Crystal Ally Cards and they're actually by um, Naisha Astian. I don't know if, um, I'm sure we at the Crystal Cave have heard of her, uh, but she's pretty popular in the, um, in the literature when it comes to crystals. So this is the book that I'll be using uh, in order to interpret the cards. Um, I will also use my intuition, of course, that's the best thing, but um, for those of you that are a little skeptic, <laughs> I will do both. So I'll use my intuition and then, of course, um, I will read from the book as well to see what, uh, what the book has to say. Um, the cards are really, really pretty. I'm just going to show you a few quickly here. Um, so there's always basically a little theme um, right at the top here and then at the bottom you have the crystal that goes with it um, and there's different colors um, so for example here you have sujolite, dreams, uh, purple obviously because sujolite is purple um, dioptase for example, green um, lapis lazuli, there's different different colors I'm sure they actually are color coded for a reason I haven't discovered the reason yet but um, I'm sure I will once I go through this uh, seven day journey so these are the cards let me just put the um, the camera down so um, you guys can actually see me and I'll start shuffling hi everyone <laughs> alright so it's um, it's kinda cold here I'm wearing my really big sweater because it's about zero degrees in Toronto right now um, but I hope this is gonna keep us warm so let me just start shuffling and we'll see where this takes us <sighs> I'm so excited to be doing this <laughs> um, it's a bit of a lesson in, um, in commitment for me I haven't really been committed to um, too much lately I guess because I don't really have a set schedule and so I tend to just kind of drift from thing to thing. Um, so I thought this would be a really good opportunity to start, um, you know, looking into committing to one thing and then another and then another and actually just, um, you know, get things on track. I do have a gazillion to-do lists, but um, it doesn't help if you write them if you don't actually do them. Um, so that's also the purpose of my grid there to help me focus. Um, I might do a video later in terms of how I'm activating it and, you know, what my affirmation is going to be. I haven't decided yet, I'm just preparing things, uh, but in the meantime I figured I would, uh, you know, I would start by doing the, the seven day readings and uh, we'll see, we'll see where they go, <laughs> we'll see where they take us. Alright guys, so uh, this is the one that I'm pulling today, interesting, so it says joy and gratitude, I don't know if you guys can see it, I hope the camera is focusing on this. So at the top it says joy and gratitude, and then at the bottom we have two crystals. So we have kunzite and hiddenite. I have heard of kunzite, I have no idea what hiddenite is, so I guess we'll find out together. Uh, we're going to look a bit at the symbology here. Um, so from what I can tell, so we have a little bit of a balanced yin-yang kind of symbol. Uh, we have colors here, hmm, I see a bit of green, a bit of pink, I would say green, pink, yellow, um, they're very vibrant colors, I feel they, they're supposed to represent the joy and gratitude and I think that in some cases they're related in that, you know, when you, when you feel joy towards something, right, when you feel happy about something, um, you also feel gratitude for that something, right? Um, so you feel thankful for 
that joy, you feel thankful for that person. Um, so I think they really do go hand in hand together. Um, I'm curious to see what the crystals look like in terms of Kunzite and Hiddenite. Um, I might post some pictures later. Um, I will also put a link to my new spanking blog that I have yet to figure out how to help you guys subscribe to um, so that, you know, we can put these together and I can have sort of like the seven day read and um, some pictures, things like that. So it's a little bit more cohesive and, uh, um, you know, everything's kind of put together in one source. Um, so yeah, so one more time, I'm just going to show you this. So joy and gratitude. Um, Kunzite and Hiddenite and then let me just go to the book and we'll see what the book has to say as opposed to my intuition so I hope they kind of they kind of match <laughs> let's see uh, so just give me a second guys ah, I'm so excited I'm running out of breath here my goodness all right um, let's see so Ooh, it's got to be in here somewhere. Oh, I know the suspense is killing you guys. I know, I know. All right, 183. I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. <laughs> okay. So, all right. Here's what the book looks like. I don't know if you guys can, can see. I have no idea if I'm actually framing this properly. I haven't actually really tested it out, but I hope I am. Um, so on the left page, we have basically a copy of the card in black and white. Um, I hope you can see here. And then on the right, we actually have a, a long description. So let's see what it says. Um, Kunzite and Hiddenite are both varieties of the mineral spodumene. Kunzite carries the pink ray of divine love and joy. And Hiddenite carries the green ray of divine healing and gratitude, hence the colors that I was talking about. So pink, green, I saw a little bit of yellow there too. Uh, Kunzite's realm is the emotion of the heart, learning to see the energy of divine love in every aspect of reality. Hiddenite is the physical aspect of the heart, the expression and experience of gratitude for the wellspring of abundance and healing that is the universe. Joy and gratitude are inseparable. When one is moved to feel joy over some aspect of one's life, one inevitably feels gratitude as well. And when the understanding of the gifts of the universe stirs the feeling of gratitude within one's heart, it is inevitably followed by joy. The flow of energy created by the emotions of joy and gratitude are similar to a double helix, which I guess it kind of looks like that in the card. If you're kind of looking at it, it is a bit of a spiral of a double helix. The same pattern as our DNA. When we are feeling joy, we are receiving the full energy of divine love. When we are experiencing gratitude, we are giving that love back to the universe. This flow creates an even energy exchange between the universe and the physical plane. Though we are but sparks in the vast universe of stars and consciousness, we are as important to the divine plan as if its execution depended upon us alone. Many people feel that humanity is a backward and unlovable species, constantly committing crimes against each other and the world in which we live. This attitude, as well as the acts that precipitate it, have their origins in the concept of separation from the divine force of the universe. Kunzite and Hiddenite remind us that when we connect, sorry, when we reconnect with the immeasurable love of the universe through the emotions of joy and gratitude, we see all things as sacred. In renewing our connection to the divine, we may very well be renewing our chance at the redemption of the human race. Hmm, so that's kind of interesting too. Um, I've been thinking a lot about the shift. I've been getting a lot of emails in terms of, you know, end of 2012, the ascension process, um, you know, our quote unquote humanity has to change because we're not really going in the, in the right direction and, you know, Mother Earth is doing her cleansing and the whole idea behind the ascension is that we need to um, raise ourselves to a higher vibration because the one that we're currently at is not um, is not conducive to you know divine love. 
Okay, sorry guys, I got disconnected there for a second. Um, I'm kind of new at filming and I'm very nervous, so just bear with me here. Um, okay, so I had read the main part and then there's one more thing, it says the message. So, um, these crystals have appeared as your allies to remind you of the power of joy and gratitude in your life. At the moment in which you experience these emotions, you are experiencing reconnection to the Divine Creator. Gratitude is the recognition of flow between you and the universe. When you express gratitude for your life and experience, you establish a flow of energy, giving and receiving between yourself and the source of all things. This flow strengthens your sense of connection with all beings. Joy is the recognition of this inner connection. When you sense joy, you are experiencing the affirmation of the unbreakable bond between the creative force and the creation. While in the state of joy, you recognize the interconnectedness of all things and the beauty of the universe's love for you. Kunzite and Hiddenite are bringing to you the remembrance of your connection with Source and the celebration of infinite creation. Be grateful for your lessons, your life, and your creations. Give thanks to the universe for the opportunity to be a conscious being who is able to learn and grow and change. Celebrate the joy of being a spark of the divine's light on earth, which you all are, by the way. Share this joy and thanksgiving with others, and soon the entire human race will be raised up to a new level of understanding and love. Okay, excellent. Good. So it does vibrate a little bit with what I was saying about, you know, we need to raise our energy up a little bit. Um, so chakra um, is the heart, so obviously because of the colors, one more time, so green and a lot of pink, a little bit of yellow in there, but anyway, mostly predominantly pink and green, and it does give us an affirmation that we can work with today. So, I give thanks joyfully for the gifts I receive. I mean, if I were to take this and put it into action, given that I have started today with this challenge, I would have to be joyful and grateful for the fact that, you know, um, I am part of this course, I have been challenged, I have taken on the challenge and I'm very happy um, and grateful to share all this with you and this is why I wanted to put this together, um, you know, it's a seven day series, I've never filmed before, um, I hate videos, I hate talking in front of people, um, as you can see I'm very nervous but I do see the value of sharing all this with you and for me that is more important than anything so I will go through the discomfort of you know putting myself in front of the camera and dealing with the technical glitches as long as you guys can bear with me and just be patient it'll get better as I practice um, I'm here for you thank you namaste